Hello again, this is Captain John, and today we're going to talk about the importance of radar reflectors to make yourself visible for ships in busy shipping lanes of the world, such as the English Channel, or even when you're crossing the Gulf Stream to go to the Bahama Islands. Let's take a look at our ship first. When a radar signal goes out, it goes out in a straight line of sight, and that radar beam is very narrow. It needs a very large or flat surface to really give a good radar signal. Now let's take a look at our sailing vessel. The hull is well below the radar signal. Sails give poor reflectivity and so do mass and boom because of their small surface area. So what we need to do is we need to hoist radar reflectors up as high as possible in the rigging in order to make ourselves more visible. Several tests have been done and the results found that the simpler radar reflector which has plates that cross at 90 degree angles are very very effective as far as giving a good signal. In a sailing vessel it's very important to hoist the reflector in a rain catcher position which means that the plates on top form a V pointing straight up. As you can see when we hoist in our shrouds or our backstay that the top plates are forming a V that points straight up toward the sky. One thing to be aware of is if you are in wet weather or squally weather where your sails and canvas get wet those can block the signal of the radar reflector. So you want to be sure that the radar reflectors are in a clear area, not blocked by wet sails or canvas. Well, that's it for the day. Have a safe cruise, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.